My name is Francesca Simon and I've written The Monstrous Child, which is the story of the god Loki's monstrous children. And I'm focusing on Hel, the teenage goddess of the dead, who is a half woman, half corpse. And I've done her in the first person as a very angry, sarky, sarcastic and funny teen who just happens to be ruling the world of the dead. I'm so thrilled and honored to be shortlisted for the prize because this is the first YA book I've ever written. I usually write younger books. So it's been a real, a real welcome into a community that I was pretty unaware of. When people ask me about the call, I usually describe it as something like a Harry Potter where everybody dies. It feels, um, it feels like a giant big warm hug from a fluffy cloud made of candy floss. Absolutely delightful, wonderful, and it has completely gone to my head. The Graces is uh, about a rather mysterious and glamorous family called the Graces. And it is about uh, the rumors that surround them. A lot of the people in, in the town in which they live think they might be witches. And it's inspired by movies like The Craft and Heathers and Practical Magic and all of those kind of um, contemporary witch uh, scenarios in which uh, characters are, shall we say, rather morally grey. It feels pretty incredible to be shortlisted for the YA Book Prize. Um, it's one of those things where you look at the past winners and think, really? Oh my god! <laughs> in, a, in a less hideous way, in a more, you know, in a humble, gratified way. The Orange Boy is about a 16-year-old boy called Marlon who's one of life's lovely people into music and sci-fi who goes on a worst state of the world and suddenly finds himself a hunted young man. It's a book about loyalty, friendship, grief, music and Primark. I'm Claire Furness and my book is How Not to Disappear. Uh, it tells the story of Hattie, who's 17 and at the start of the book has just found out she's pregnant and doesn't know what to do about it. And she uh, embarks on this rather unlikely road trip with her great aunt who's uh, a bit of a mystery, she's got lots of uh, secrets in her past and is also in the early stages of dementia and Hattie and Gloria go off on this road trip to uncover some of the secrets of Gloria's past before she forgets them. It feels absolutely amazing to be shortlisted for the Wired Book Prize, I'm just so thrilled. A Beautiful Broken Things is a platonic love story about three best friends called Caddy, Rosie and Suzanne and it's about friendship and girls and emotional recovery. Oh it feels so great to be shortlisted for the YA Book Prize. I was so so thrilled when I found out. It's such an amazing list, the books are all brilliant. I'm just really proud to be among them. My name is Alex Sweetle, author of Cronkton Nights, a novel about um, a young 15 year old boy Mackay who has to deal with loss but he has many good friends who help him on a journey to the, to the bad ends of town to try and retrieve a friend's um, mobile phone that has some inappropriate um, images on it. So it's full of adventure, full of friendship, sometimes betrayal, deep danger, and very exciting. It feels amazing to be shortlisted amongst my peers who um, have produced such incredible narratives this year for the Bookseller YA Prize. I feel really privileged to be a member of that shortlist. What happens in Riverkeep is Wall, who is going to take over from his father as Riverkeep in a week's time when he turns 16, does not want to do this. Because what it means is a life spent on the river, clearing away rubbish and clearing away the weeds and breaking up the ice in the winter. And crucially, the, the main thing is recovering the, the bodies of the dead who have drowned there. And he does not want this wilderness life. Uh, but before he can run away to the city, his father is taken into the river and he's forced to take him on an epic quest down the river in order to try and save him. It feels amazing to be shortlisted for the YA Book Prize. I never managed to get as far as something like this, even in my imagination, so it's really, it's been overwhelming and to see the other books and the other writers, you know, alongside whom I've been nominated has been really incredible, so I'm very grateful. My book, Paper Butterflies, is about a girl called June um, it's the story of her growing up um, in a horrific environment at home. She has a stepmother who treats her very badly and a father who doesn't really see what is going on and the book follows her as she grows up 
and the consequences of the abuse she suffers. It is an amazing feeling to be shortlisted. I've always, always written and dreamt of having a book published, so to have anyone recognise it, that it might be good enough for a prize like the YA Prize is something beyond my wildest dreams. Um, OK, so the winner of the YA Brick Prize 2017 uh, at Hay Festival this year is It's Orange Boy by Patrice Lovett. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you bookseller, um, also thank you Mallory and also Alex and Catherine Johnson and all those authors that made me think that when I could be an author but also wrote people and families that looked like mine so I could actually think maybe people might want to read them, might want to buy them and they, they have done. Um, thank you so much bookseller and I really feel I need to renew my subscription now. <laughs> <laughs> And so well, thank you, Caroline, my, my agent, who uh, was the one who politely told me that those unpublishable manuscripts are unpublishable, but stayed with me for the years afterwards and supported me so much and buys me wine and Prosecco, and I don't need much wine and Prosecco. <laughs> it's, it's good for me. And for um, Hachette, my, my, hold on, Hachette, my publishers, have just been absolutely <coughs> amazing, have supported me through everything. Also, just got a designer who got a really wicked cover of oh, Orange wicked. Boy. So this is just... Uh, this is lovely, and um, before I go, I'll go from... Actually, I don't know if I can cry, because it might turn to steam if they come out. <laughs> so, just, this is amazing. Just, just thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>